now truly turning into a king's ransom. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to have your company and as ever. Thank you so much for joining me. You all right today? I know, another week virtually gone, isn't it? Where does the time go? What's happened to me? I know, don't know, do you? It just flies by. Whatever you're doing though, do take time out, as I often say, to just, you know, gather your thoughts a bit. There's nothing wrong with having 40 winks, you know, shutting off and just thinking, oh, I don't care, I don't need to do that much today. I know the exciting things, I know, unblocking a sink, that's the glamour of my life, yes. And then you can't remember where you put the plunger, yet you're like me, aren't you? <laughs> you know, you move into somewhere new and you think, now where did I put that plunger? And you're looking in the weirdest places thinking, why would I put it in here? Mm. Back as ever to your breaking royal story of the day. This story is rather serious as, you know, most of them are sadly nowadays, concerning, of course, our brand new king, King Charles III, less than a month into his brand new reign, you know, the official reign. Uh, what a spectacular event that was. But of course, uh, being the king, you often get mired in negative publicity. And now, once again, all thanks to his youngest son, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, that is the case. You see, as we now know, Harry decided to plough ahead with that rather ridiculous privacy demand security case against his father's government, his majesty's government, and the British Home Office and the British Metropolitan Police. He lost. The judge decided that no one else. Costs now have estimated anywhere between 250,000 to 400,000 for the British taxpayer. Now, as you can imagine, this has not gone down particularly well. Let's not forget that Prince Harry alone will have substantial fees to pay, somewhere in the region of 450 to 500,000 pounds also. A lot of money, as I'm sure you'll imagine. But if he'd have taken advice, which I'm sure he was offered, he would have known that the simple quest what he was looking for was impossible to receive. Now, moving forward, a lot of people want to know why on earth should the British taxpayer have to force extra money out for a case that many people realised he was never going to win. And more importantly, they're now looking towards our brand new king. The king, of course, could, if pushed, and more importantly, to make it look more agreeable, be forced to pay that money. I say forced, could be advised. Because right now, over here, with a mega cost of living crisis, and more importantly, the negativity surrounding his youngest son, the British public are now deciding whether they truly want to support an idea that was ridiculous in the first place, but now once again burdened on the ever demands of the British taxpayer. With the cost of living, the migrant crisis, and just the general crisis of living with costs rising and rising, this petulant story of a young man who demanded IPP status and security as and when he decided to you know, put back himself into the United Kingdom has cost heavily, but it could cost even heavier on the king's publicity and popularity. It's a developing story, and as ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.